For this week's field tested, we're gonna talk about the Adventure Medical Kits Expedition Kit. Now, it is a good idea when we go on trips to have medical kits like this, but before we even talk about it, we need to consider the training that needs to come along with. If we don't have training to support the kit, then it's really not much use to us. So I always recommend people look at a wilderness first aid WUFA course, and preferably a wilderness first responder WFR course. And then of course, if you wanna go one step further than that, wilderness EMT is another great solution as well. There are things that we wanna have in a kit like this. So we wanna be able to stop bleeding, we want to be able to stabilize any injured limb, and we also want to be able to treat for various infections and various gastrointestinal problems that we have along in our journeys. Uh, we can easily get things in our eyes that we need to irrigate for, may need to establish an airway, and a lot of these medical kits have those kinds of tools in them. We're gonna talk real quickly about what is in this particular kit, which is what they call their professional series. Uh, and it's intended for one to 12 people for up to 14 days. I find that to be more than sufficient. One of the reasons why I do like the Adventure Medical Kit is because it is high content and they're very affordable. Some of the higher end kits can be two or three times more and have basically the same contents. So we do have a SAM splint. We've also got a full dental consideration kit as well. We have a CPR mask. So that's all enclosed in the trauma pack here. We've also got a whole section for medications, a section for personal protection, which would be gloves and et cetera. But the key is if you need to stabilize a limb or an injury, we have rolls like this, we have triangular bandages, we have tape and other considerations as well. Now, the one thing that these kits don't come with and you need to talk with your doctor about is over-the-counter and prescription medications that you should have along. You always wanna have some kind of antibiotic with you and you always wanna have extras of your medications that you need in the field just in case your stay in the outback is longer than expected. These kits also don't carry the typical medications that we need in the case of a bite or an allergic reaction. Many people have severe allergies and they need to have an EpiPen with them. You'd wanna supplement that in this kit as well. You wanna look at Benadryl to be able to manage that in addition to those other medications that you would get from your doctor. These are very comprehensive kits, but they do need to be supplemented with things that meet your needs. For this week's hack product, we're gonna talk about the Snowpeak Gigapower Torch. This would be easy to say it's super practical, useful piece of equipment. Mostly it's just super cool. So it'll start a fire very, very quickly as we'll show you in the field footage, but it is also very easy to use. This is an older unit. The newer one is slightly different in the way that it's constructed and it also includes a handle probably to because of safety. So I kind of like the unsafe version. You take a standard Lindell valve canister. You screw on the Gigatorch. <clears throat> it does have a spring adjustment valve, which just basically starts opening up the fuel. And you gotta be pretty careful when you get it going because Like I said, not practical, very cool.